Hello everyone and happy Sunday, October 1st, 2017. My name is Leanne Allegretto. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Missoula and I'll be walking you through some of the impacts we're expecting with the upcoming storm system and uh, later in the week what we can expect going forward beyond that. So up first is the winter-like storm we're expecting Monday through Tuesday. Uh, pictured here is a estimated area of where um, the most impacts will occur from this system. We are expecting a combination of snow and strong winds to occur over mountain passes crossing the divide. So in the area that's circled here in the graphic, that's where we're expecting you know, the strongest winds in combination with the moderate to heavy snow. And so as a result, um, it will impact travel from, Mari uh, from Essex to Marias Pass and over Marias Pass, McDonald Pass, as well as Homestake Pass. Um, for areas outside, immediately outside the bubble of, of winds and snow, we're expecting up to two inches possible down to valleys such as Pole Bridge, West Glacier, Sealy Lake, and Butte, to name a few. And then beyond that, a trace of snow on grassy surfaces, which will be possible in the Flathead, Mission, Missoula, and Bitterroot Valleys. So um, basically to sum it up, all the mountain passes crossing over the Continental Divide should see you know, some pretty substantial winter-like conditions for, um, you know, very early October. And then uh, the bordering areas, you know, the valleys and stuff, sh could see, a, you know, their first few snowflakes um, and maybe some light accumulations. Here's the graphic that shows the potential storm total snowfall expected from Monday into Tuesday from this system. As you can see, immediately uh, the bright oranges and yellows right along the divider where the heaviest snows will fall. You know, Marias Pass upwards of a foot, um, down towards McDonald Pass into Butte, you know, lesser amounts, but still an impact for those who plan on traveling during this time. This forecast and this graphic is valid as of today, October 1st. So as we go forward, this graphic may change as the system shifts and the amounts change. So this is what we're forecasting as of now, but uh, you know how things go. As we get closer to the system, the details get much clearer. But it looks, our confidence is, is really good in this system, and we feel pretty strong that, you know, along the Flathead, or at least the Rocky Mountain front there, including Marias Pass down to McDonald Pass, is going to be, you know, pretty pretty walloped with some early season snowfall. So I mentioned when, you know, in, a, in addition to the moderate to heavy snowfall and even light snowfall in some other areas, there's also going to be the effects of strong winds. So this graphic shows the progression, like a rough estimate of time frame of when we expect those winds to make their way across western Montana. So the first black line there is Sunday night, so that's tonight. And then it creeps a little further westward Monday morning and then further towards Missoula and, and further south on Monday afternoon. Um, also, I put a little note here. At this time, we do not expect these easterly winds to make it into north-central Idaho. So if you guys have blustery winds, it's going to be coming out of the west-northwest during this time. So again, um, the combination of snow and these, these types of winds will have a major impact on travel over mountain passes where they'll see the, the greatest amount of snow. So, in addition, the other impacts that the wind will cause is to Flathead Lake all day Monday. We're basically expecting winds out of the north for a prolonged period of time at 15 to 25 miles per hour sustained with gusts to 30 miles an hour. And um, as a result, it's going to be very choppy water for most of the day. It's going to start Sunday night, like the previous graphic showed, and then basically continue all day, which will produce wave heights up to three feet. And um, if you know your dock best, but if it's susceptible to this, this type of wind and wave, dire wave direction, you know, assess it as best you can, given what we know that the winds are going to do all day Monday. There will be some lingering winds on Tuesday, but the biggest impact will occur on Monday. So that's the Flathead Lake impact of this system. So all of that aside, once this storm moves off and out of our area, Skies are expected to clear Tuesday night, which means there's a hard freeze possible for most areas across western Montana and even north central Idaho. So shown here, sorry, shown, shown here are Wednesday morning's lows, and this is what we're forecasting as of right now. Um, 
and then the different impacts. So the typical impacts you'd see during this time of year, the frozen hoses, irrigation system sprinklers, that sort of thing, and any other types of, of you know, impacts you can think of to your home or to people or animals or that sort of thing. So, you know, just take a look at that temperature grid and try to plan accordingly. If you got any remaining tomatoes, now's the time to pick them. After Wednesday, what's it look like? Well, mid to late week outlook isn't too bad, really. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we'll, we'll, we'll see some sun and clouds. Uh, for most of north central Idaho and western Montana, I did put an exception down at the bottom here. There are showers expected to linger Wednesday into Thursday for about Grangeville, east to Darby, eastward to Butte, and then south to Salmon. And uh, that basically is in effect for Wednesday and Thursday with the showers. But on Friday, basically everywhere is going to see increasing clouds and a chance for showers by the evening, especially northwest Montana as our next system comes in. Uh, but the, the details are kind of sketchy on that as of right now since it's so far out. But we'll have more details to come when it nears. And that's it. Hopefully I covered everything. If you have any questions, please visit our website or give myself and my coworkers a call at the number provided here. And uh, we'll, we'll keep you up to date on what's going on with this storm and all things afterwards. Thanks so much.